Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett back on the program. Tim, nice to see you. Uh, where should we begin? I guess let's begin with the gun trial because it's almost over. It's in the hands of the jury. Um, I guess if we're in Vegas and you're a betting man, we could take odds right now. And here's my feeling, and then I'll get your input. I think that even though we have seen, yes, a two-tier justice system, even though that lady being interviewed on CNN doesn't think there is, we've all witnessed it, I think that... Um, They'll find him guilty. I think, though, the judge then will save his butt, and I think he will get a slap on the wrist like house arrest. And then that way, the Chris Wallaces of the world, the Rachel Maddows of the world, the Democrats uh, and your colleagues in the House can come out and say, see, the judicial system is not prejudiced, it's not biased, it's not two-tiered. Trump got found guilty, and so did Hunter. But Hunter will get a slap on the wrist while we have to wait for July to see if they're going to throw Trump in prison. What says Mr. Burchett on the outcome? I couldn't agree with you more, Dan. Um, and thank you for having me back on, brother. I felt like I was having withdraw withdrawals. Um, <laughs> but no, I mean, but look at the, look at the double standard though here with Trump. It was a misdemeanor. A bookkeeper right. made an error while he was president, and then Trump's, and then they raised it to the level of a felony, and they changed the statute of limitations on this. Hunter Biden lied on a federal firearms form, which is a felony. There is no shape, form, or fashion, any way around that. And you're correct in, in many of your assumptions. And one of those was it was probably a wise move not letting him testify. You know, you got yeah. Joe Biden's wife, Hunter's stepmother. I think it cost four hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars for him to come home, for her to fly home and show her support. And so it's just. The whole thing is, is a travesty of justice. We're not, we will never see real justice. And if he does get anything, it will be a slap on the wrist. They're not going to put him in cuffs. They're not going to, like they would you or me. Right. They're not going <laughs> to, you know, I dare say they're even going to search his home for firearms. They're not going to go in the middle of the night and arrest him when they could have got him at the package store or going down by some rolling papers somewhere. They're just, they're going to, he'll go right then and then they'll say, time served, or we're going to put you in your home, which yeah. is like a palace. House arrest. Right. And Tim, yeah. not to correct you, because I know you're not a druggie like Hunter. It's not rolling papers. He's not a weed guy. He'd be grabbing a pipe. He was a crack guy. He smoked okay. crack cocaine. I My like bad. facts, Tim. Rolling papers are for marijuana. He didn't do that. He did crack. Let me repeat right. that. He did crack cocaine. He even smoked Parmesan off the floor. Remember, he admitted that on 60 Minutes. Anyway, I like yeah. facts. So if we're going to talk about Hunter, let's make sure we always get it factually right. Anyway, <laughs> when's the last time you just smoked some Parmesan, Tim? <laughs> I'm no, sorry. I'm I shouldn't I'm laugh at somebody's Italian. addiction, but. I'm not Italian. I'm so tired of this family. Anyway, I am, and I don't smoke Parm. Anywho, um, <laughs> let's, talk about, <laughs> let's talk about the contempt charges, shall we? I'm glad we're keeping some levity on a Monday, let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, we need it. The whole country needs it right now, Tim. So you guys recommended... Obviously, it's going to the attorney general. We've seen how Merrick Garland operates. Do you guys honestly think he's going to do anything when it comes to actually maybe arresting James or Hunter or even referring some charges or doing something since they lied under oath? No, nah, but yeah. we, ought to, we ought to stick it on. We've got to go through with our, our sworn duty. I know. Um, I just I, I agree with you. Nothing's going to happen in this thing. But the American public has a right to know, and they've repeatedly lied to us. If if you could have, if this would have anything near this would have happened under Trump, I mean, it would have been stopped the press is twenty four seven. Yes, the views would be crying every every day about it. <laughs> but instead, you know, it's just. Um, I mean, that's that's where the left seems to get most of their their news from anyway. So I, I agree with you. They're not going to do anything. They don't have the guts to do it. And I'll tell you one thing else. The House does not have the guts to cut the funding off, which is what we ought to do. Yes. We ought to cut it You could pull off. the we purse to the DOJ and say, hey, Merrick Garland, you and your team don't get a paycheck till you do what the hell we just told you to do as the House of Representatives. But you're right. There's too many rhinos in there to have a backbone to say they're going to do that. Let me move on real quick before I lose you. Um, sure. Right at the end of last week, Biden did his executive orders on what, Wednesday, I think, or Thursday? <clears throat> acting like he's going to lock the border down. You and I have had so many discussions over the last three years about the border. And we have said, obviously, countless times and shown the pictures in the video the day he signed those orders when he first took over that opened the border. So pretty much last week was what, Tim? A nothing burger? No, 
less than, it gives nothing burger a bad name. It is less than a nothing burger. It, it is complete fallacy, you know, to think that at any point they're going to, this miraculous wall is going to just appear to stop everything. You know, you, you don't have to remain in Mexico still. They're allowing the people in. They, you know, they have a trigger point. The whole thing is bogus and it, and nobody's buying it. Even the left isn't buying it. They know this isn't enough. They know they got to have more than this. And they're hoping that this just goes away and it's not going to because the crime's not going to stop. Hell, the fentanyl, you know good and well, the fentanyl's not going to stop. Lose more people this year than we did in Vietnam. Uh, the, the, the cartels made too much money. They became billionaires under Joe Biden when they were just millionaires. They're never going to let this go unless we get Trump in there and he stops the cartels. Final question to you because I almost forgot this one. Do you, do you not support, sir, the 51 intelligence age, uh, officers, which, by the way, one was Antony Blinken, the 51 officers that signed that letter almost over four years ago now and said that the laptop was Russian disinformation. They said that we OAN, that we lied. We now know the laptop's real thanks to the FBI testifying under oath in Hunter's gun trial last week. Do you support Tim Burchett here on this show pulling the security clearances for all 51 of those lying SOBs? Yes or no? 100%. 100%. And I'll be writing a letter to James Comer to say, well, let's drag every one of their asses in the committee and let's find out who told them and where they got this. Well, we know because he got assigned Secretary of State. <laughs> That's how the swamp works. Tim Burchett, as always, thank you so much for coming on, brother. Appreciate you.